One major reason UK newspapers claim that the Nigerian army is incompetent could be false. As the security agency continues to do its best under the Buhari-led administration to fight and combat corruption, banditry, terrorism, and the likes, a recent publication by The Economist of the United Kingdom, UK, on Saturday condemned the Buhari-led administration. According to reports, the publication described the Buhari-led administration as incompetent when dealing with banditry, corruption, and terrorism, tarnishing the heart of Africa. We Nigerians can attest to the good work the Buhari-led administration has put in just to cube corruption in the northern part of the country, as Fulani headsmen and Boko Haram have turned that region into their playing ground. Angry at this publication, the Nigerian army defend, defended their name on Saturday as the spokesman, General Nyema Nwanchuku, noted that they are not useless and the publication characterizing them in such a manner was utterly wrong. The Nigerian army was right to stand up against such false information about them and in my opinion, this is just one major reason why the publication was very wrong. The Nigerian army took down ISWAP leader Malambaku for terrorizing the country. Few hours ago, it was reported that the same Nigerian army, a publication in the UK called Incompetent Killed ISWAP leader Malambaku, the same person who succeeded the late Abu Musad al Banawi. This is just one of other numerous good works the Nigerian army has done in the fight against insurgency and terrorism in the country. This is enough proof, in my opinion, that the Nigerian army is capable of handling terrorism in the country. They just need adequate weaponry to do so. <laughs> oh goodness. Should I rather say that the Nigerian army are not incompetent but the people giving them order are the ones that are incompetent and are the ones who are making the Nigerian army really looks as if they are incompetent. Because you know the the military they only follow orders and command whatever it is that they ask to do is what they do if they ask them to stop is what they will stop that is how they do their thing so i think that them not being able to tackle the issue of insecurity all this way and allowed it to this level it sh the blame shouldn't be put on them in general but it should be put on the a, a highest commanders because they are the one who are the cause of all this incompetence the uk are talking about well in the comment section someone said so the international community has finally seen what we all have uh of this why I've been pointing and shouting at. If the army disagree with their new tag of incompetence, let the army choose another tsunami and wear it as a badge. UK, US, India, NATO that are very competent. What makes you run and leave your weapon from Afghanistan? Just imagine this one. You are just a moron. If you don't understand anything, you better keep quiet and not say anything. How can a bandit like Buhari fight these bandits with this Boko Haram? Zoo army are Fulani bandits. Boko Harams are foreign Fulani headsmen and foreign Fulani bandits. Buhari foreign Fulani killer. Headsman, now you want him to fight them. Didn't he said Jeg should not fight them? Hmm. Very correct description of the baby's club called Nigeria Army. A disgrace to Africa. Hmm. And yet you still sleep with your two eyes closed. Even your kinsmen are part of this incompetent army. I pity you. Well, you are useless who is sleeping with his two eyes closed now in Nigeria. Okay, the Nigerian army is capable of doing very good work in fighting and protecting the country. But it is our government that is incompetent, okay? um, It is the Boko Haram terrorists repented that are competent. This is why I keep saying that Nigeria is a joke. We wear illiteracy rules the land suffers. Hmm. Well, wind blow, far when yash don't open, incompetent soldier. Now that 
is incompetent join the army and fight for them okay um the nigerian security agents are actually not reliable they are not different from criminals hunters and are doing better than the criminals in uniform so to so to you taking down the leader of high swap is a great feat <laughs> so i ask at what expense how many soldiers did nigerian lost before they get the job done was it an act of mere luck or coordinated grand design so they are incompetent and corrupt hmm. well the nigerian army has turned the activity into business but for buhari we have just had managed precedent okay truth they are more than that Boko Haram was giving amnesty but killing innocent people for agitating for freedom that is how nigerian are whatever it is that they ask them to do is what they do without asking question that's how they are they will tell their obey before complain that's how nigerian army works well why we nigerians always defend our stupidity what would you have said if they praised nigeria that's the economy was doing well the former american president trump's insulted us that we always defend the wrongdoings of our leaders i think he was right in your brainless head uh, our military winning the battle hmm. okay you hear this smell um competent road est extortionist you mean okay uh and why are people still being kidnapped and killed in large numbers without trace within the country except ransom is paid before they are released and sometimes after collecting the ransom the victims are either or either killed or not even released at all hmm. the whole world knows what the british says is 100 percent collect <laughs> okay correct you collect you well well nigerian military officials are full of incompetence an extrajudicial killing in the southeast and south south <laughs> we all know that the level of incompetence these people are really portraying these days is indeed getting getting out of hand let's be sincere to ourselves and say the truth and shame the devil what they are indeed doing is really really applaud for incompetence because right now people get killed on a daily basis and nothing has been done about it and the Nigerian army when they complain i'm talking about the uh, the young soldiers that are being sent to war front whenever they complain that the arms given to them is not enough that is not as sophisticated as those that the bandits are using to fight them what do they get for doing that they do what they send them to prison or even dismiss them and now what do you expect for them to go and fight with their bare hands it's not possible how can they go and fight people with sophisticated weapons with their chakabula it's not possible so i wouldn't blame them for doing the things they are doing so once to say nigerian army are incompetent they should put the incompetency to the leaders because they are the cause of all this problem and the root cause should be tackled and not the rest of the soldiers because not all of them are happy with the way things are but they don't have a choice because they just have to obey that's how the army works or you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening